in the 90s, staying healthy can be a real big concern for a lot of people. Our Valina Jones spoke to a doctor and people around our area to learn just how to beat the heat. She's live in downtown Portland, and it's still about 77 degrees out there, Valina. You know, Jennifer, it's still warm. It's 11 o'clock, and it's 73 degrees right now and with temperatures expected in the triple digits this weekend people are really doing anything they can to stay cool and doctors say the best way to do that is to stay hydrated it's pretty hot for me mm -hmm. but it's nice and cool here in the shade trying to stay cool is is tricky we wait for sunny days all year long but when those beaming rays hit you at 90 plus degrees it's a different story. We just try to get outside and cool off and find parks like this with water and shade. Splash pads are becoming the number one hot spot to cool off. We try to get wet every afternoon. Um, we, we spend our evenings in the basement usually. It's nice and cool down there. So how are people staying chill with temps hitting triple digits this weekend? Playing in water, drinking water, really anything with water. Just keep passing the kids water, basically. <laughs> Air conditioning, fans, you name it, people are trying it all. People didn't feel quite the, as desperate as they do this year. Aikeny Hardware has seen a spike in sales just in the last couple weeks. Uh, this will do up to 350 square feet. Restocking their shelves sometimes three times a day. Once the upper 90s start hitting, then people start really freaking out, especially when they can't sleep at night because it's too hot in the house. If that's you, here's the doctor's order. Getting some ventilation. Um, the reason why uh, misters work is because we, we miss ourselves and then we try to get some ventilation in, some wind or some fan, and that's probably one of the most efficient ways that we can get to cool people off. Adventist Health doctor Jonathan Mao says if you don't stay hydrated, it just takes a couple hours. Things can get uh, bad really quickly. Before symptoms hit you. You know, some of the things that we will look for for a heat stroke or uh, heat exhaustion are uh, pale, uh, pale color, um, headaches that don't seem to go away. You start getting uh, shivers or shakes. Biggest things are just uh, staying hydrated, making sure that you're taking adequate breaks, uh, wear some shade. Now, Jennifer, with all the fires in our area, smoke is also a concern. Doctors say those particles in the air can cause some irritation. Avoiding the outdoors during poor air quality days, getting an air purifier, and even buying one of those particle matter masks can help alleviate those symptoms. Reporting in downtown Portland, Felina Jones, Coin 6 News. Some good tips to stay cool. Thanks, Felina.